Hey guys, uh, so uh, again on the surface, like Morgan Stanley, a big beat EPS 628 per share. Forecasts for 538. The revenue slightly ahead at 865 uh, versus forecasts for uh, 8.35 billion. If we look through the individual lines, investment banking uh, very strong. It was forecast to be 1.8 billion. Uh, came in at 1.98, so that's up over 20% compares to Morgan Stanley's investment, broad investment bank performance up high teens percentage, and all of the other big money center banks on investment banking were down. So those two pure investment banks in their core business uh, were out, the outperformers for this quarter. If we look into some of the other segments, investing in lending, slightly ahead of expectations, investment management, slightly ahead of expectations. The trading, though, was disappointing. Equities was uh, broadly as expected, 1.79 billion. The forecast 1.73, but the fixed uh, income trading was at 1.31 billion. The forecast was for 1.4. Uh, that's down uh, double-digit percentage, so that is a miss. But overall, this is a, a decent set of numbers. It's up 1.3 percent. It was up 1.3 percent even before these came out. In lieu of Morgan Stanley's beat, Morgan Stanley's still out outperforming uh, Goldman Sachs shares. Both of these two down sharply year-to-date before today's trade. Uh, Goldman Sachs down about 15% year-to-date uh, after last night's close. Uh, Morgan Stanley down about 17% year-to-date. So uh, with these EPS beats, unsurprising to see uh, a jump in the share prices this morning. Guys?